What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a blessed day today. So today's video, we're going to actually be doing a product review. We have a brand new head unit that we just installed in my 2500 Ram Cummins. And I tell you what, for the money, this thing is hard to beat. It was a very simple install and it looks great and it works awesome. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so this is the new head unit that we just installed in my Ram 2500. This is a 2017 Ram 2500 Cummins diesel. And for those that don't know, this is what we was working with. That jalopy of a garbage can. I would have to say that this looks a lot better. And I'm not exactly sure how to say this name, but I'm going to stay a Toto. I don't know you guys tell me um, but we got this thing off Amazon it's got really really good reviews this company has a lot of stereo equipment on their website lots of different head units different sizes etc this is like a double den 7 inch unit and again with the proper install kit it fit into my Ram truck absolutely beautiful super super tight fit very seamless it looks really good it looks like the radio came in this truck um, so I'm really stoked with it now the other feature with this radio is its touchscreen this is a touchscreen Bluetooth Wi-Fi literally this thing will do everything plays videos backup camera um, Google Maps, it's an Android power. They also have them Apple powered as well. Um, so, I mean, it's it's pretty much like having a tablet in your car or your truck. It's awesome. So, we're going to go over a few features, what this thing can do. So, start with, obviously, you got your phone. You got, this would be your radio. And your radio screen is going to come up. So, you have an AM, FM radio. I have it on mute right now, on your ride home. but you can pre, Street, you, but you can program your stations just like anything else. So there you go. That would be your radio. Go back to the home screen. Uh, then you have a Bluetooth. So Bluetooth. I got my phone hooked up now. We'll play it. And there you go. You got got your Bluetooth right there. pretty cool um, while you're on Bluetooth you get this cool little uh, music thing going on right here pretty neat feature uh, we'll go back to the home page next cool thing is gonna be Google Maps if you use Google Maps a lot like I do um, this is absolutely very awesome um, so you literally have your Google Maps built into your radio um, works just like your phone exact same thing you can save all your stuff very cool so we'll go back out of that again and we also have a reverse cam that we got from the same company I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on so here's the reverse cam coming up and there you go I have it pointing really low down to my hitch that way I can hook up to my trailer a little bit easier we also still have the factory backup camera right here in the rear view mirror. Um, but as a lot know, it's a very small picture, so it doesn't show a whole lot. Um, so it's kind of nice having both features. This is definitely pretty cool. You can also hook up a front camera as well, so you can have multiple cameras. We'll go back out of there. Uh, another cool feature, as you guys know, I'm real big with YouTube. We have a YouTube icon on here. And you can literally watch YouTube videos. 
careful and I'll be dipped in shit and rolling breadcrumbs. We'll go check out somebody real quick. Like, uh, here's old incredible Hemi right here. Pick on one of his videos. I mean, it's definitely pretty awesome. It's pretty much like having a TV inside your car. It's awesome. So there you go. We're watching YouTube inside my truck. Definitely cool. And the app works just like it would on your phone or on your computer. So very, very awesome there. Um, you also have an auxiliary hookup. The radio has an aux plug right here. Not only that, the wiring kit to install this thing that I purchased actually retains my factory auxiliary hookups, which is inside the glove compartment right here. Never mind that, uh, that little tool down there. So you get to keep your auxiliary hookups, not to mention you have a aux on the front of the radio. You also have a USB. Kind of hard to see it with a little cap on it but you have a usb plug and i believe this is a 3.0 fast charge so also you can also like plug your phone into this thing charge your phone up and it charges pretty quick then you also have an sd card slot i have not put an sd card in there yet i still need to do that back out of here so that's kind of a few things on the home page there you have a gallery um you can you know upload any picture you could ever think of on here it's got a lot of already programmed pictures and vehicle emblems um, from all different kind of vehicle makes and models so i found the dodge one on there we put the dodge one on there um, probably going to change it to something else here soon but you can change pictures and then you sit in the background obviously and again like i said this is like a tablet so you can go on here there's a lot more apps they already have programmed on this as well you scroll through it just like you would your phone or your tablet very very cool i have my amazon prime hooked up to it as well um so we could even watch you know heck we can watch a movie let's uh there's old tombstone we'll hit old tombstone There you go. We got Tombstone going on. Organized crime in America. They call themselves the Cowboys. Definitely pretty cool. So you can watch movies in your truck or your car as well. Pause that. We're going to go back out. Now we're going to go over a few things that uh, a lot of you stereo and radio fanatics are probably going to like. Um, it has a really neat equalizer. You can literally change pretty much everything on this radio um, and adjust all kinds of things. If you have like subwoofers, amplifiers, whatever, you can literally adjust everything. Um, like right now, we'll click, we're on the front. We can go to the rear. You have loudness. Um, if you want to change your your quick settings and go to like something that's like a default sound they have your rock soft classic pop all that stuff um, that you can quick and it'll change the equalizer up for you real quick um, so you have all that you have also down here you have time correction where you can change literally the delay signal you can change the delay signal of each speaker or channel is pretty cool um, you also have rear speaker boost right here you can turn that up and down by simply touching the screen and just dragging up and down like you would on a tablet very cool you have a bass boost for the front and the rear you can literally just grab the screen adjust this wherever you want do the same for the rear then you have a sound field you can move this wherever you want front left right back however if you want to go back to all you can hit the quick all it'll put it on all four speakers or all channels you got quick buttons here where where it can play on the driver's side co-pilot etc and then you have also a bass filter built in where you can turn the hertz down or up for the front or rear channels pretty neat 
again I'm really impressed with this head unit it it really really does a lot for the money I mean it's really hard to beat um, the biggest thing I want to say that I like that I'm impressed with is how responsive the screen is you know some stuff that are some things that are touch screen or some radios out there I've had them before and you really got to like dig into the screen to get it to pick something um, or select something you know sometimes it's like you know sometimes it's like it doesn't want to select it but this thing is super responsive I mean it is very very sensitive if you touch it you swipe it it moves it is that simple um, it seems to work very 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 well so we're going to go over a couple of the pieces that I had to purchase to be able to swap in this head unit for my specific truck this is pretty much the base model uh, Ram 2500 it's a tradesman so I do not have like the steering wheel controls um, the only thing I do have is like the auxiliary hookups and it did come factory with a backup camera and the parking sensor option where when you're backing up it'll tell you in the camera and it'll do the beep 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 noise and all that mess um, so that's pretty much all I had in this truck with the factory radio. Alright, this is everything required to put this radio in. My Ram truck, or most of the Rams in general. Uh, first thing you're going to need, I picked this stuff up at Best Buy. This is a powered antenna adapter cable. Then you're going to need... Then you're going to need the dash kit or a radio install kit they call it. This fits pretty much Chrysler Jeep Ram 13 and up. And this is this is just basically a dash kit to mount the radio to. And then this is the wiring harness you're going to need to plug into your factory harness and then plug into the back of the radio. And this kit is the Chrysler Retain Chime Interface Kit. Purchase this at Best Buy as well. And then here we have the Odo uh, backup camera that they sent me. Comes with the harness along with the camera. And looks like a very nice camera. All of this is metal. This is a metal bracket, metal camera. So, very nice. Not Definitely not one of the flimsy plastic units. This thing is all metal. So that's pretty nice. And then we have the radio itself. Which comes with a lot of stuff as well. They give you brackets. They give you some antenna. Comes with lots of cables, some connectors, screen protectors, some brackets. This is the radio harness. Some more brackets. And then finally we have the radio itself. Double den style. Pretty nice unit. So that's everything we got. And uh, that's it. So now it's time to install it. Now, depending on your model, you may need a different wiring harness than what I used. The harness I purchased was specifically for the Ram truck that did not have like the steering wheel controls. Um, there's some that you have to purchase where if you have that and you want to retain the steering wheel controls, you got to get that harness. But this head unit will fit and replace pretty much anything out there. It has all the plugs and wiring to be able to retain your factory steering wheel controls, your factory auxiliary hookups, um, your factory backup camera stuff, um, parking sensors, all of that. So that is a really nice feature because um, sometimes with aftermarket stereos or whatever you end up losing something like that like sometimes you lose your steering wheel controls or a backup camera or something like that and that's never fun so 
this radio allows you to keep everything so that's definitely cool finally we're going to check out the camera that we got from them the camera actually really impressed me as you've seen the view on the screen is very very clear and it's a very nice camera for just a universal type mount anywhere kind of camera all right we're gonna go back here and check out this camera that we got and there you go same brand as the radio a toto or however you want to pronounce it now i do want to mention that most of these that you find that are like a universal kind of camera mount they're usually plastic this thing's actually metal it has a metal bracket metal mount up here that's actually welded to this uh, camera bracket the camera is also metal and it's just very sturdy you can also if you need to this mount is designed to be able to bend it up and down left or right so you can pretty much adjust it however you want again i have mine pointing down pretty low so i can see my hitch bowl to be able to hook up to my car trailer but there you have it that is the new head unit that we got off of amazon for the daily driver and the race truck hauler i had some people ask me the other day when they seen some videos playing on it how i was watching youtube well, there you go. That's how I'm watching YouTube while I'm driving. We're not supposed to be watching TV when we're driving. I'm mainly listening to it, but you get to drift. You pretty much watch or do anything you want with that head unit in your car, truck, whatever it is. They make all different sizes to fit in pretty much every vehicle out there. Doesn't matter what kind of car it is. They got something that'll work, so go check them out. The link will be in the description below if you're interested in it. And as always, guys, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next one.